All right, it's Thursday. Thursday. Here we are. We're almost to the end of the week. Uh, we're going to do Psalm 98 today. All right. Um, oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in a joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise to the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and all those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills sing together for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. So, John, this is a, uh, first and foremost, is a, um, it's a psalm of rejoicing. Yeah. We should talk about that first. Yeah, I think, um, so, definitely rejoicing is the, is the critical part of this. And I think one of the things that um, is helpful is when you go through this, you hear the word all. Of It's not just we the people sitting in the temple reciting this are thankful it's all people and really the whole created world. So you can read this and you go back to maybe the book of Genesis and, and walk through you know, the different accounts. There are two accounts of creation there. But ultimately, in, in both of those stories, God sits above as the one who creates, whose hands are in the mix of the created world, the created creatures, and, and created human beings. Yeah. And when you start to think about all the things that God has done, as the psalmist is doing here, you can't help but think that every single thing in this world is giving praise along with you. You yeah. know, the the from you know, you know, the two of us sitting here talking about this, to the dandelions that I desperately tried to get out of my yard, they are thankful with us right. for what God's done yeah. for you know, sun and rain and nourishment. The the care that we receive as human beings, the love and support we receive, not only from God, but from one another, that's cause for everything to yeah. be thankful. And maybe that's enough of a message for us today. We have another thought that maybe we can cover tomorrow on Friday Yeah, uh, that we had talked about off camera. Um, but it, it's that sense that you got to, John, of creation being restored. Because I think a lot of times we look at God's salvation, God's grace, God's mercy, whatever, however you want to talk about it, as being for you or for me. But there is something in what God does in the world that actually restores us back to really what created order was supposed to be, right? Yep. Yep. And and I think that that's, so, so when you get these images of, um, you know, singing praises and um, giving glory and the, even the floods mm -hmm. clapping their hands and the hills singing together with joy. Um, the sea roars and all that fills it. Uh, so the animals and basically all that was created in those seven days is rejoicing for God. And so there is a sense in which the creation, which is torn apart because of sin, is restored. Yeah. And that's a really cool idea, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a really interesting worldview shift of, you know, you look outside and go, oh, it's raining for the fifth day in the world, you know, right. fifth day in a row, but then you go, oh, wait, you know. Let the rains and the clouds sing yeah. for praise yeah, at you, the watering and the restoration of the earth. Yeah, it, it, it really, it shifts our, our view from, I think, as you said, us, of, oh, it's raining outside, I can't, I can't go and do what I want to do. But it moves you to the place of, you know, this is doing exactly what God intended it to do. Where it's not, it's not about me. You know, right. my my flower beds need water, right. too. My grass needs water. You know, the the earth needs its nourishment too, and is giving thanks as that happens. I may not be, but right. right. But it puts us in a real, in a bigger space, where we walk upon this earth, but 
the earth has needs and wants and creatures have needs and wants and they give thanks as we do as well. And I think it pulls us out also of thinking that somehow that, yes, while Jesus died for me, the body of Christ is given for you. That God's actions in Jesus Christ redeem the whole world. Hmm. That somehow it's not just about me. It is. Yeah. But it's about more than that too. Yeah. Good stuff. Let me pray us out. All right. Gracious Lord God, help us to see each day the ways in which this world rejoice. Rejoice in you, particularly in times like we've experienced this last year uh, with the pandemic. Just the ways in which our scientists and their work sings praise to you. The way in which people who have done the work of vaccinating people and testing people and caring for those who got sick sing praises to you. The ways in which we've still been able to go outside and enjoy nature and maybe sometimes even slow down to see what we oftentimes miss in our busyness, how that gives praise to you. Lord, all of creation sings your praise. For you are gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. And you have created this life, this world, and our love to glory in what you have done for us. Keep us in that truth and in that grace. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. It's a beautiful Thursday. Yeah. Maybe go out and celebrate. I think so. See you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.